Hello guys, today we're gonna make the shaft in the differential gearbox, okay? So you can download this file in the description or you can make it the other two videos and make these two components, okay? So open your Fusion and let's go. First, let's hide the two components here. Go to create a sketch and select the front plane. Select a line, make a line here with 116.5 millimeters. And let's go. Look in this point, make a line here with 12 millimeters, and along another line here with 22 millimeters. And here 0 0.75 millimeters and here 20 millimeters in this line 4 millimeters 6.5 millimeters point seven five Six millimeter. Sorry, here is eight millimeter. And here is an angle here. And another line here with ten one millimeter and five. Make a line here, 2.5 millimeter by 2. And close the sketch here. Then go to constraints, make this horizontal vertical. That's okay. Go to sketch dimension. The distance here is 2.5 millimeters. The distance here two. Here 21. The angle between this line and this line is 160 degrees. Okay. The distance between these two lines is 15. 0.25 millimeters and the distance between this line and this line is 16.75 that's okay the distance here is 12 millimeters go to constraint select horizontal vertical so click in this line, in this line, select this edge here, this point. That's okay. Now finish this sketch. Go to revolve the profile. Is this sketch in the axis? Is the axis here? Press OK. We have this. Now go to modify, select chamfer, select this edge and this edge. The chamfer here is distance and angle. The distance here is one millimeter. Press OK. Now go to create a sketch, select this face here. Select a circle. Click in the midpoint, make a circle here with 21.5 millimeters. Select a line, make a construction line here in the, in the midpoint with 12 millimeters. Okay. Now select circle, make a circle here in this line with 
6.4 millimeters. It's not a construction, okay? Okay, here, go to scan dimension. The distance between the, the point of the center of the circle and the construction line is 3.8 millimeters. Go to create, select mirror, select this circle. Mirror line is construction line, press OK. We have this. Now go to create, select product, project, select this edge here, press OK. Now we have this profile here, OK. Finish this sketch. Go to extra, select this profile. Make sure that are the both profile here selected. We'll make a cut here, operational cut. The distance is minus 21.5 millimeters. We'll make this cut here. Press OK. Now go to modify, select fit it. Select this this edge here and this edge. The fillet here is 3.25 millimeter. Sorry, sorry. 0 0.25 millimeters. Press OK. Select fillet again. Select this edge here. The fillet here is 3.25 millimeters. Press OK. Now go to create, select the pattern, circular pattern. The object type is feature. And the object has the cut and the two fillets. And the axis. You can click here or select the red axis here. The quantity is 22. Red, okay. We have this, okay. Now, go to offset plane. Click on this face. Make an offset plane here with 58.25 millimeters. Minus here, okay. Press OK. Now go to create, select mirror. The object, object type is features, and the object is the extrude, the two fillets, and the circular pattern. The mirror plane is this plane. Press OK. We have this. We can hide the, the plane, okay? Now to finish this exercise, go to fill it again, select this face, and this add the fill it here is one millimeter. Press OK. Here we finish the shaft. Now go to body, make this a component, okay? Create a component from this body, press OK. Let's rename this. Chat. That's OK. See you in the next video and bye-bye. Thanks for watching.